welcome, welcome back everyone to Indochina. And in this part, we shall hopefully uh, get rid of these Siamese pests that are hounding us. And um, yeah, it should be doable. It should be doable. We're, our main objective right now is going to be trying to just get these guys in the pocket to stay in the pocket. Continue to surround them and hold the south because that's kind of the key. In the north, we're just going to try to uh, fight some delaying actions, kind of um, do some damage that way. and try to get as many surrounds as possible, as usual. Alright, here we should be holding. My idea right now is to hold, again, as long as possible until we can get some kills on these units down here. Of course, more naval invasions. That's fine, though. All right. With the armor here, we should hold. We should hold. And that's a lot of divisions that are trapped down here in this pocket. So hopefully, this is going to be enough to hold everything together. We do have some more problems down here in the central part of the front. But that's going to be dealt with later, to be honest. It's going to need to be dealt with later. Right now, we cannot really afford to think about that. All right. Uh, actually, we don't have land doctrines. But yeah, uh, we should should really think about those. Uh, I think I'll go with mobile warfare. Because it's one of the best whenever you're actually low on... Uh, low on industry to produce lots of artillery. And yeah, they're trying desperately to break out, but we'll make sure that that does not happen. Alright. Good, good. We need to make sure also that they do not uh, distress too majorly down here in the center of the line. So we're going to launch some diversionary attacks to keep them busy. Hopefully they'll send in some reinforcements. All right, they are about to lose it. Actually, you should probably come up here. Yes, they are about to lose everything they have. Good. The problem still is this whole center section of the line. Guess you guys should stop that attack. Back up north, try to... Well, I mean, it's a mountain province, but two against one, we should be able to win. All right, let's, let's make our big attacks. Good, good, good. We can use our militias to clean up. And that should be done this way. Great, great, great. This is what I'm talking about. Come in and help, please. Good, these two divisions are gone and these five divisions will be gone soon, so that's seven more divisions surrounded and encircled and destroyed. That's for the loss of two of our divisions down here, of which one of them was a militia. But still, I would say that that's a trade in favor of the enemy. 
because they are a little bit stronger than we are. So I would still say that's good for them rather than for us, but... Hey, we're gonna try. We're gonna try as hard as we can. Yeah, this plains province over here is just such a pain. They continue to... Why do you not help? Alright. They continue to break through down here, although it's a blessing in the skies, to be honest, because it's a plains province for us, but it's also a plains province for them, so that when we counterattack them here, we can break them, and there's only one tiny little province here, so they can just break through into the plains, into the south of this river, the Mekong, and then we can surround them there, just like we've are, uh, you know, just done right now. And we need to fight the Japanese as little as possible. We need to fight the Siamese, not the Japanese, because the Japanese, they're just their friends. And they're gonna have basically infinite reinforcements and supplies coming in from Japan. But the Siamese, they're eventually gonna run out of equipment and manpower, I'm hoping. Well, maybe not manpower, because Siam does have a nasty population. But maybe equipment, they'll run out. And the key thing we'll need to watch out for with that is the strength bars of the units. Because once they start running low, that means they're running out of equipment. Alright, we are regaining the areas in the front line that we were losing earlier, and I do not want my armor to move! Holy fuck! I'll just... No, I'll just take them out of the plan altogether. I don't want my armor moving in places where it's not supposed to operate, to be completely honest. That's just folly. Suicide. We're losing pieces of equipment that we do not need to lose. Come down here, thank you very much. We do not need armor to rule the jungle. We just need our good old Vietnamese spirit. The one that has let us defeat the Germans. And all of that. Looks like we are about to get a good encirclement off on these two infantry divisions. Alright. We're gonna do some nasty, nasty maneuvers over here. Yes, I think we can surround them. I think that we can. Alright, that's also empty. Continue on down there and you are gone, my friend. You are gone. <laughs> Saigon. That's, that's not supposed to be funny. Yet more encirclements are coming in. That is the way you beat the AI every time. Encirclement, encirclement, encirclement. Although, that cav... We need to win in 16 hours, and we cannot. So we're gonna attack the cav. We're gonna turn around and attack the cav. Stop them. Oh no, they've brought in infantry. All right, so we are going to slow them down. No! That's dickish. That is dickish. All right, try to get in there and... Um, so we are going to get surrounded rather than them. But no, actually we're going to turn it around and surround them. I do not know what is happening. Alright, when you get in here, you and you, actually you, hold them there. Can you get in there before they can? Yes, you can. 
Do you need to hold them? No, you do not. Good. Praise cynicalism. All right. Now we can get a chief of the army. And we should do... Hmm... Elastic Defense, Doctrine of Autonomy. See, none of these are all that good. Decisive Battle is just always so good, but... Right now, our divisions don't really have that much attack. But I guess I can just... Yeah, I'll just take the attack. Division attack is just always such a good stat. Alright. So now we are once again surrounding them. So those two divisions, after some strange, 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 uh, I guess you could say, adventures, have been surrounded fully. Get in there and prevent them from uh, getting themselves situated. We need to prevent them from reinforcing those guys. Alright, then get the militias in there. Arr. No! That's so annoying! I hate that so much. That always happens. They always get there with one tiny fraction of an hour of time left. Get everybody in there, fight. Kill, destroy, murder, slay. This battle is so close. Ooh, we can get some free territory. Now, the reason this is pretty good is that this uh, is impassable terrain. So it's gonna shorten the front the the amount of front line that we need to defend. All right, we can finally kill him, I think. All right. No, they got in there. God damn it. But this opens up the opportunity to flank him. And yeah, they're not gonna like that, and, uh, well, all this is gonna just peter out. And be worthless. This is also going to shorten the amount of frontline that the AI has to take care of, which is not a bad thing at all because it's going to prevent them from being as stupid as they have been right now. And, uh, well, it looks like the AI over here is gonna give me an opportunity, a golden one. We can still surround him. It's gonna take three days, though, for this division to get in action and block them. We're gonna... Increase the amount of uh, layering of the block by taking Konkan or Konken. I'm not sure how you can really pronounce a name like this. All right, they are surrounded, and now they are getting crushed. We're gonna continue to flood our men down south. as much as possible, trying to put pressure on them. Of course, we're gonna take this opportunity that they have wonderfully given us and encircle this division. We're gonna try to get in, uh, no, that's not a good idea. And okay, you guys stop because these attacks are not going well. All right, you get in here. Retreat a little bit. Alright, you'll get there before that division, which is all that I care about. 
so you will not be overrun. And now, as you can see, that division is pretty boned. You're staying there and you're going here. Thank you. So that we can maintain the territory that we have acquired. Ooh. Ah, oh, right. I hate it when there's like troops of two countries in there at once because you saw there the effect, right? Uh, you, you see the Japanese unit and it's almost dead and you're like, oh, I can come in there and take it easily. But that's not the case actually because there's another unit. And so rip you. Like, for example, in Phnom Fem right now, I have no idea how many guys are there. That's actually not because there's units of two countries, I've just realized. It's because one of the units is attacking and the other one is defending. So they're on two layers. Two different layers of uh, UI. And looks like they have upgraded their decryption, so I have no idea actually how many units they have. Which is annoying, we're gonna need to upgrade our own decryption, but with two research slots. Ugh, it's gonna take forever. Let's try an offensive at Phnom Penh. No, it's not gonna work. I tried. Actually, no. Send the militia. They haven't tried any more naval invasions lately, which uh, is good for them because they've been wasting a lot of divisions in those. I think that at this point they are out of divisions to cover the front line, which is why they aren't going for any of those. And this is good. Look at this. They're trying to sneak in. That's going to mean a good opportunity to surround them. But... If this militia wants to come in and uh, try to do something about it, I guess I'll let them. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. No, they, they do come in and get there. So stop there, actually. And counterattack them. And try to close off the pocket. It's actually going surprisingly well, despite only being militias. That's because it's only a Japanese cavalry division. So, yeah. Alright, stop there. Go do this. Okay. You kill him. And once you guys are all set up... Oh boy. Please stop him. What I'm trying to do is just delaying action so that my units can get in the way which they have. Excellent. And now we're all in a good position. What we're gonna try to do is... We're gonna try to kill him before his buddies can come in and help him out. Should be doable, although, well... All right, do this. Get the armor in there and help out. Get this armor in here to defend. So that's going to be two more infantry divisions gone and out, and more opportunities abound. More good opportunities. How come they were winning so easily earlier, but now they, they aren't? Annoying. You should be able to reach in there. Ugh, not looking all that good. 
I think they'll win here before we win there. Eight days. Two days. Oh, no. Okay. Now we just need to kill this guy. And then the need to hold this airfield it will be gone. But it would be fine to hold the airfield regardless. And as you can see, we can... We can take the victory. I guess you can move out. And you'll do this. Alright. And... Now... Ah, oh, you should not have done that. Because now there's a pretty good opportunity for another encirclement. Oh, he's going away. Never mind. Still, we're gonna try to make an offensive. I mean, might as well. What's going on up here? We have managed to surround that guy. That's good. We'll keep him we'll keep him there right now, as a bit of a pet. No need to uh, waste too many troops attacking him yet. Because he's in a pretty bad position, to be honest. Where did you... Mm. Annoying. Yeah, our advances are... Oh, we can take Fratabong. And actually, this is looking like a good opportunity for an encirclement of massive proportions. At least in the scale of things. Because if my militia can come in here, oh yeah, they can. They can just surround them all. And that's a pretty massive amount of troops. In fact, we can increase the depth of the encirclement, like this. This will definitely confuse them. It will also confuse my AI, which is an unfortunate side effect. Oh, they have... I didn't even see anyone coming in there. I didn't even see anyone coming in there, I swear. I really did not notice that that guy was coming in. That's just sad. Can you take him? No, you cannot. That's just... It's two enemy infantry divisions. They're too strong. We might lose a militia. We might lose a militia. But we're definitely going to try to... Get as much damage done with them as possible. Because now they're behind enemy lines and they can do some good things for us. In fact... Oh, we can take Satahip. Yep. Okay, so they're gonna... They're gonna be allowed to continue to operate behind enemy lines. This infantry is also doing some... Scary, scary things. Alright, I don't think we're gonna get naval invaded in Saigon anymore. And, oh no, they've brought in guys. That's annoying as hell. They've brought in two infantry divisions. Where did they find them? Well, I think they found them here. They found them here in the north. So we can make use of that. Can't make use of that. All right. Ooh. How are they so strong here? I do not know. And the second Weltkrieg has started.
No, 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 no. Don't do this, please. Come down here and help out with that. Alright, you guys now help with this militia. Alright. Uh, yes, we can reestablish the encirclement. We can reestablish the encirclement. Need to be very, very smart about this. Actually, one armor division comes here. You come in here. No, 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 no. You guys, all of you. I guess I can assign you to here. All right. We just need a comprehensive encirclement because this is their main army. If we can continue defeating this, then we're gonna be in a great spot, to be completely honest. We can also get another encirclement, a supporting one out here. Which is, of course, amazing. We're gonna kill him. We're going to continue advancing down here. Just to provide a distraction for them. Yes, a lot of this is about distracting them in various ways. I think, I think we can two on one that division over there. And is this a lake or is this a province? I do not know. Come on, get in there, get in there. Okay, now that they are in there, I think we can win that fight. No, we cannot. Okay, so stop it, get this guy here, get this guy in here to continue. Again, distracting them. No, do not do that. Please get back here, okay? He has managed to drive them away a little bit. So I just need this guy to take this province. To make sure that they cannot reinforce. And of course, as you can see, they are coming in and helping. No, I want... Damn it. I need the front to be held, and uh, my infantry is not helping out with this because they are not in the action. Badenbong is the one that's most dangerous, I would say. Or the one, the province that's most dangerous. Because that's where there's militias. And where militias are, it's not easy. Here they of course have Phnom Phen, which is a city. So they're going to have a relatively harder resilience. Because they can draw supplies from the city. Alright, we can surround them once again up here. All right, get yourself situated in there. Yes, it's bad and bong, the problem. Actually, retreat the infantry division there so that he can, he can come in and help out. And then once the armor is done defending this one tiny province, they're going to have a good... Yep, they can come in and help. Good, great, amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much. And now, once we have defended this, hopefully these guys should be mostly out of supplies because despite the fact that they have a city to protect themselves... I don't think that they're gonna have. Uh, I don't think I don't think that they're gonna have enough supplies to supply all of these men. So that's great. And um, let's test this out. Actually, yeah, they do not have enough supplies. Good. But we still need to defend the areas that we've got under our control. And up here, this encirclement is gonna go well. That's pretty good. And Phnom Phen has been left empty. Or no, that's because we've got no troops looking at that. Okay, that's fine. 
I know you want to do that, but don't. All right. Do this, and this infantry division should hopefully die soon. At this point, this division extra in Hanoi, I don't think we need it, so we'll put it in Saigon. Just to be sure, just to be sure. Can never be too cautious. The AI might want to make a naval invasion yet. And a Berfia commune decides to declare war on Bhutan. Really, no. Well, that's fine, to be honest. We are doing quite well down here. You get in there, so that you have a way to uh, attack Phnom Phen without the river crossing penalty. Try to just get as many encirclements as possible. This is the phase of the, phase of the war when the AI is really starting to get uh, sloppy, I guess you could say. And once we take Phnom Phen, we're gonna have these guys under lockdown, essentially. And as you can see, we can get some good encirclements off just randomly at this point. And oh boy. This is looking pretty good. Their capital seems to be exposed. So I'm going to end it for now with the road to Bangkok kind of open and hopefully the Sami's defeat imminent. I will, well, leave you and join you next time. Thank you all for watching. I hope you've been enjoying Indochina so far. And I'll see you soon.